Parsha Bahukate. If you walk in my statutes, keep my mitzvot and carry them out. Then I will give you rains in their season. The land will yield its crops, and the trees of the field will yield their fruit. Your threshing will last until grape gathering. The grape gathering will last until the sowing time. You will eat your bread to the full and live securely in your land. I will bring shalom in the land, and you will lie down, none making you afraid. I will remove dangerous beasts from the land, and no sword will pass through your land. You will chase your enemies, and they will fall by the, you by the sword. Five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you will chase ten thousand, and your enemies will fall by the sword before you. I will turn toward you, make you fruitful, and multiply you, and I will confirm my covenant with you. You will eat the old harvest and clear out the old because of the new. I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul will not abhor you. I will walk among you, and will be your God, and you will be my people. I am Adonai your God, who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, so that you would not be their slaves. And I have broken the bars of your yoke and made you walk upright. But if you will not listen to me, nor carry out all these myths, vote. If you reject my statutes and your soul abhors my ordinances, so that you do not keep all my mitzvot, but instead break my covenant, then I will do the following to you in return. I will appoint terror over you, wasting disease and fever that dims the eyes and causes the soul to pine away. You will sow your seed in vain, because your enemies will eat it. I will set my face against you, and you will be routed before your enemies. Those who hate you will rule over you, and you will flee when no one pursues you. If you, in spite of these things, will not listen to me, then I will chastise you seven times more for your sins. I will break your pride of power. I will make your sky like iron and the earth like bronze. Also your strength will be spent in vain, for your land will not yield its increase, nor will the trees of the land yield their fruit. If you keep walking contrary to me and still will not listen unto me, then I will multiply the plagues on you seven times like your sins. I will send the wild animals among you, which will rob you of your children, destroy your livestock, and make you so few in number that your roads will become deserted. Now if in spite of these things you will not be chastised by me, but walk contrary to me instead, then I will walk contrary to you. Then I will strike you, I myself, seven times for your sins. I will bring a sword upon you that will execute the vengeance of the covenant, and you will be gathered together inside your cities. I will send a pestilence among you, and you will be given into the hand of the enemy. When I break your staff of bread, ten women will bake your bread in one oven, and they will bring back your bread by weight, so that you will eat but not be satisfied. Yet, if in spite of this you will not listen to me, but still walk contrary to me, then I will walk contrary to you in wrath. So I will chastise you seven times for your sins. You will eat the flesh of your sons, and you will eat the flesh of your daughters. I will destroy your high places and cut down your altars of incense, cast your dead bodies upon the bodies of your idols, and my soul will abhor you. I will lay waste your cities and dev devastate your sanctuaries. I will not smell your soothing aromas. I will make the land desolate, and your enemies settling there will be astonished at it. I will scatter you among the nations and will draw out the sword after you. So your land will become a desolation and your cities will become a waste. Then the land will enjoy its Shabbatot all the days of its desolation while you are in the land of your enemies. The land will rest and enjoy its Shabbatot. As long as it do lies desolate, it will have rest. The rest that it did not have from your Shabbatot when you lived in it. As for those who will remain, I will bring weakness into their hearts, into the hands of their enemies, so that the sound of a driven leaf will put them to flight. And they will flee as one flees from the sword and falls, even when no one is pursuing. They will stumble over one another, as if before the sword when no one pursues, and you will have no strength to stand before your enemies. You will perish among the nations, and the land of your enemies will devour you. Those of you who are left in the land of your enemies will rot away because of their iniquity and because of the iniquities of their fathers, they will rot away with them. But 
if they confess their iniquity and that of their fathers and the treachery they committed against me and how they walk contrary to me. In return, I walk contrary to them and brought them into the land of their enemies. And if at that time their uncircumcised heart becomes humbled so that they accept the punishment for their iniquity, then I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham, and I will remember the land. But the land will be deserted by them and will enjoy it, Shabbatot, while it lies desolate without them. And they will accept the punishment of their iniquity because they rejected my ordinances and their soul aboard my statutes. Yet for all that, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not reject them, nor will I hate them into utter destruction and break my covenant with them, for I am Adonai their God. But for their sakes, I will remember the covenant of their ancestors when I brought out the land of Egypt in the sight of the nations that I might be their God. I am Adonai. These are the statutes, ordinances, and laws which Adonai made between himself and Bnei Israel at Mount Sinai by Moses. Chapter 27 Then Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Bnei Israel and say to them, When anyone makes a special vow to Adonai during the valuation of persons, then your valuation of a male from 20 years old to 60 years old shall be 50 shekels of silver after the shekel of the sanctuary. If it is a female, then your valuation shall be 30 shekels. If the person is from 5 years to 20 years old, then your valuation shall be 20 shekels for a male and 10 shekels for a female. If the person is from 1 month to 5 years old, then your valuation is to be 5 shekels of silver for a male and 3 shekels of silver for a female. If the person is from 60 years old and upward, if it is a male, then your valuation is to be 15 shekels for, and for a female, 10 shekels. But if he is poorer than your valuation, then he is to be set before the Kohen, and the Kohen will set a value for him, in keeping with what the one who made the vow can afford. Now if it is an animal that may be brought as an offering to Adonai, anything that one gives to Adonai will be holy. He is not to replace it, or exchange it, either good or bad, or bad or good. But if he does exchange one animal for another, then both it and the one for which it's exchanged will become holy. If it is any sort of unclean animal that may not be brought as an offering to Adonai, then he is to set that animal before the Kohen. The Kohen is to evaluate it, whether it is good or bad. As the Kohen values it, so it will be. But if he would redeem it, then he is to add a fifth to its valuation. If a man consecrates his house as holy to Adonai, then the Kohen is to evaluate it, whether it's good or bad. As the Kohen evaluates it, so it will stand. If the one who dedicates it would redeem his own house, then he is to add a fifth of the money of your valuation to it, and it will become his. If one consecrates to Adonai part of the field of his possession, then your valuation is to be in proportion to the seed to sow it, an omer of barley at fifty shekels of silver. If he dedicates his field from the year of Jubilee, it will stand according to your own valuation. But if he dedicates his field after the Jubilee, then the Kohen is to calculate for him the money according to the years that remain until the year of Jubilee, with the deduction to be made from your valuation. If he who dedicated the field would ever redeem it, then he is to add a fifth of the money of your valuation to it, and it will remain his. But if he will not redeem the field, or if he has sold the field to someone else, it may not be redeemed any more. But the field, when it is released in the Jubilee, will be holy to Adonai as a consecrated field. It is then owned by the Kohanim. Now if one consecrates to Adonai a field that he has bought, which is not from the fields of his possession, then the Kohen is to calculate for him the worth of your valuation to the year of Jubilee, and give your valuation on that day as a holy thing to Adonai. In the year of Jubilee the field is to return to the one from whom it was bought, to the one to whom the possession of the land belongs. All your valuation shall be according to the shekel of the sanctuary. 
20 geras to the shekel. But the firstborn among animals, which is made a firstborn to Adonai, may not be dedicated by anyone. Whether ox or sheep, it belongs to Adonai. If it is an unclean animal, then he is to buy it back according to your valuation and add a fifth of the value to it. But if it is not redeemed, then he is to be sold according to your valuation. Nevertheless, no devoted thing which a man sets apart from all that he has for Adonai, whether man or animal, or from the field of his possession, may be sold or redeemed. Every devoted thing is holy, most holy to Adonai. No one who may be set apart from men for destruction is to be ransomed. He is surely to be put to death. All the tithe of the land, whether from the seed of the land or the fruit of the trees, belongs to Adonai, for it is holy to Adonai. If a man redeems anything of his tithe, he must add a fifth part to it. From all the tithe of the herds or the flocks, whatever passes under the rod, a tenth will be holy to Adonai. One is not to inquire if it is good or bad, nor exchange it. Or if he does exchange it, then both it and that for which it is exchanged will become holy and may not be redeemed. These are the mitzvot which Adonai commanded Moses for Bnei Israel on Mount Sinai. Kazak, kazak, Bnei Kazek. Be strong, be strong, and may we be strengthened.